Hello everyone, time for another pre-release video and today we're going to talk about Spring 19 pre-release. So right off the bat, I found that the related list views now have pinned and unpinned option. What this means is you can train your users to pin uh, the list view that they care about the most and once they click on the, on the object tab, they will actually land on that list view. So for example, if they care about all opportunities, click on this pin and all opportunities will be pinned. Then let's go to contacts and come back to opportunities. And we will see that all opportunities is pinned. So this is great and thank you Salesforce for this. This has been uh, the most asked for item so far. And um, one comment is that I would I would really hope to see in future that admin can actually control this for mm -hmm. users and make it possible that we can uh, pin it for the users and which will save a lot of time uh, training the users to pin and unpin. The next uh, one I found was the reports. So quite a few enhancements around the reports and now you can The enhanced page is now in B, uh, now in GA, so there is no beta action that you should see until now. And um, another one is you can now actually conditional format um, your lightning reports, which um, report type of uh, summary or matrix report with at least one summary field. So for that, all you need to do is click on the edit button and you will see a uh, conditional formatting option right here. So format it from here, change the color, and all the um, summarized field will appear on here. So on this uh, little drop down. So that is really awesome. Um, next one around the reports is now you can subscribe reports for more than one user at once. So when you go to opportunity stages or any reports, click on this little drop down and you will now see, uh, click on subscribe, edit recipients, and you can actually select entity type just like for list views or any other sharing option. You can actually select roles, public groups. So this will save a lot of time if you have multiple users who need to see same reports and you don't want to subscribe each person or each user one by one. So this is a very time saving feature. Um, there are a couple of uh, enhancements that I noticed around dashboards, however I haven't played around with dashboard uh, a lot, but one thing I noticed was now you have, when you go to setup and click on this little gear icon, you will see that you have option to select dashboard grid size, which will uh, be helpful to actually fit a lot of more components within the dashboard and make it look nicer. So. Um, According to the release notes, you can also now use the summary field from report into the lightning data table inside the dashboard. So try that out when you get a chance. A um, few other features um, with the same opportunity uh, around the action is, let's say you go to opportunities or any object, you have uh, now printable view right up, out of the box available so no need to create a visual force page to uh, just uh, make a printable view for your users so users can click on this printable view and you have this printable view and you can print this page so less development there um, also on the opportunity team or account team you now have a new button called remove all members so if uh, the opportunity owner decides that no members are needed, he or she can click this remove all members and all the members will be removed from opportunity team or account team. So that also saves time there. Um, next item is uh, actually around the Lightning App Builder. So now you can, let's go to the Lightning App Builder. Now you can actually assign multiple home page based on the apps so you might have gotten this request like 
I have two different apps with two different theme going on and I want to show two different home pages for that apps and uh, they are not separate profiles those two apps are used by same profiles so same set of users but two different home page that wasn't possible until now um, but from spring 19 you can now actually assign the home page based on the app so the way you do that is very similar to how you assign your um, your lightning record pages to different uh, apps and different profiles so it's the same way so all you need to do is go to activation button and click on this app and profile and you will be able to assign it to different apps from here so this can have a lot of use cases if your end users are using multiple Salesforce apps toggling back and forth from those apps and each app has its own own home page so for example if you have two different types of processes going on and one of the app requires certain approval processes or dashboards so you could add those components for that app on the home page and then the other home page could have dashboards and reports and other components related to the other app so this will be very helpful um, for your users and you can also include instructions on your home page for the different apps uh, using the rich text field so I have a lot of uh, use cases around it also so uh, since we are in the lightning app builder now you can actually assign or sorry change the template when after even after creating the um, app page or record page so for example right now I have he header and sidebar right sidebar and maybe I don't need that I want to change it to maybe three three reasons header and three reasons right so I can do that right here change the template I don't need to create a new page just for the sake of changing uh, just for changing the template so this is how it looks and you can always add another component here like usual so that is very great and a lot of time saved there without having to create multiple versions of pages just to change the template so thank you Salesforce for that I'm very excited about this um, another one which is um, great is now you can actually see uh, field references without having to go edit the field so until now what you need to do is anytime you need to see where the field is referenced actually edit the field and then it, it, it gives you an error that this field has been referenced in this process builder or pro flows or whatever so but now you have this where is this used button on the field and this button actually is in beta but it shows you a lot of uh, different references like it will show you the layouts um, custom uh, for formula fields, validation rules, workflows, possibilities, flows, etc., APACs even. So this is going to be very helpful to share with your team um, that this field has been referenced here. You know, it, it's very helpful to collaborate, uh, especially if multiple administrators or developers are working on a project. So this is very helpful. Um, and now you can create big objects from the setup. I have never used big objects, but I thought this was helpful information to share for those who you, who do use big objects um, uh, next one I'm saving the best one for the last or the biggest one I should say the flows um, and now you have finally the new flow builder I'm very used to the old flow builder and I think it will take some time to get used to it but I feel like this is a lot better uh, first of all, you don't don't need flash, which is great. Um, and now it's a lot cleaner than the old flow, and I like the way it looks. It's awesome. Um, so you don't have uh, fast record and create record element anymore. It's just create record. So when you click on that, it it will give you an option if you want one record or multiple records. So and it also tell you which where do you want to store it whether it is a very collection variable or single variable so everything is same in terms of uh, the same or even better in terms of how it works functionality wise but it, it is uh, a lot very 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 different than the old flow builder so I'm excited to start playing around with it and creating some new flows and 
I'll probably post more videos as I go along. There are a few more uh, enhancements that are around uh, chain set, so, but I can't show you the chain set enhancement since it's a de developed dev org and I don't have a sandbox uh, on Spring 19 yet. So um, I think that's all for, uh, for this video and uh, I have seen a couple of development um, new features coming up and I will share those new features as I go along and as I explore more. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Have, have a lovely um, evening, afternoon.